Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Linux instance in the hosting provider uh, DigitalOcean. It's useful for you to have a Linux instance in the cloud, right? Uh, so that you don't have to tinker with your on-premise lab firewall. And uh, the first video, I'll show you how to create a Debian instance in DigitalOcean. And then we can look at how do you harden and secure your SSH access uh, into your Linux instance, right? It's important uh, to do some tweaking there if you are planning to keep it up and running for your testing development uh, activities, right? So first to start, right? When you log on to DigitalOcean, you can create a new project right by clicking on new project on the left here you can always use the first project that um, it is by default provided or in my case uh, you know I'm going to create a new uh, project name you can fill up this section or you know you could just leave some of them empty right the good thing about digital ocean is when you sign up for a new account uh you get a hundred dollar credit uh, to use within 60 days and if you don't like for whatever reason uh you can always uh, choose not to continue and then uh after this uh, demo i'll show you how to destroy your project Right, so that you don't leave uh, your machines hanging around. So once that's done, click on create project. Right, you can move resources around. Uh, if you have already created your various uh, instances called droplets, right, and you can move it here. Right, so for a new installation, you just need to select skip for now. And then you know, um, you get a project or a workspace created, right, for, for you to set up your testing environment, right? So the first, uh, you can do a lot of various uh, dev and testing stuff with your new environment. Uh, so the first thing what we're going to do is to create an instance, right? So in DigitalOcean, they call it droplets, right? You create your cloud server. So click on that. Then select the um, images that you want to provision, right? So for this tutorial, I'm going to use Debian uh, latest version 11. For the plan, I'm going to choose basic and then um, start off with the basic CPU options, right? Uh, regular SSD and, you know, one gig uh, of RAM one CPU, 25 gig of SSD, a uh, thousand gig of transfer should be good enough for a start. Now, if you are planning to do a lot more in terms of setting up a test environment in the cloud, you can add a block storage so that you can share files and data, right? And then you can choose uh, the various data center available. So for me, I'm going to choose Singapore, right? By default, it will create a default VPC. You can, you know, edit the VPCs, uh, later but uh, we're going to keep it as default for a start you know when i'm creating the instance uh, a normal username and password is sufficient right uh, in subsequent tutorial i'll show you how to harden your ssh access and then ultimately uh, we'll try the ssh key with uh, mfa right uh, that that will really help you secure your SSH access, right? Might not be uh, needed for a lab environment, but you know, we'll try it out uh, in future videos, right? So we're gonna use a password. Okay, you need to take note of the uh, password uh, requirements. So interestingly, uh, you cannot end with a special character or um, in number, right? 
So once that is done, you can select the free services, right? You can enable IPv6, uh, monitoring and alert, which is useful, right? If you are trying to see the utilization of your server, uh, you can perform user data in terms of if you are running out cleaning cleanup scripts backup script uh, you can actually set the user data when you are provisioning the droplet right we're gonna keep that uh, unchecked for now the good thing about um, the digital ocean platform that I like is that you know if you are trying out or setting a quick test or training or lab environment you can actually uh, add multiple um, instances at a go right uh, of course three is the maximum that you can uh, configure at any one time right so but uh, i'm going to just start with one you can change the host name it's always useful to Give it a meaningful name, right? Uh, as your lab grows, sometimes, you know, uh, you can forget which machine is for what purposes. So, you know, naming your host is good. Or you might have a project that you take a uh, certain naming convention, right? Uh, I'm going to delete this instance after my video. So I'm going to name it demo to be deleted. Uh, you can add the tag, right, to identify and organize uh, your various resources and then once that is done just click create droplet okay it's pretty fast um takes about less than two minutes right to deploy the droplet so uh you know much faster than you know deploying a linux uh or Debian in your lab environment from a bare metal or from uh, or on a VMware or EXSI, right? Okay, as you can see, one that is done and it's pretty fast. Uh, the one good thing I like about um, the instance uh, is that it auto creates a you know public IP address as well as a internal LAN uh, when you spin off the instance right you can then start to build your node.js application or install a uh, PHP web application you can install WordPress on it you know to do your blogging and web development right so uh, you can now SSH directly using a, any SSH uh, client to this IP address or you can head over to the three dots over here and then click on access console right and you can launch your droplet console from the uh, dashboard itself so I'm going to launch the droplet console as you can see right Okay, once you're in, you can do a who am I and see that I'm root. If I do a IP address right now, you can see that the public IP address, right, is created in Ether zero, right? And then in your internal network, a private subnet of 10.104.0.x is being created, right? With the respective subnet right so that's pretty uh cool right it's how fast and quick you can set up a linux instance right and then you can install your debians uh sorry install your kali uh if you are going to test out kali online uh if you are doing into other security testings right you know now you have a Linux instance in the cloud that you can do a lot of your testings and development, right? So 
once that is done i'm going to just quit from this All right you can close the connection so that's how quickly and fast you can create an instance right uh using digital ocean now uh once you're done with it you can actually turn off the uh, instance to save on cost uh and you know in any event that you decided that you know we do not want to keep the instance or project anymore you can easily uh, head over to the instance again right you can right click on this the three dots over here and then just click on destroy okay and what it does it will destroy and delete the instance right so this is irreversible right so uh do be careful right uh you only do this when you are sure that you do not did this uh, instance or droplet anymore so i'm going to destroy this droplet confirm and then you have destroyed the or delete the instance itself thank you for watching and stay tuned for the future video on how to secure your ssh access to your cloud linux instance Take care and stay safe.